guys what's up welcome back to my channel so I cannot really in words express to you guys how excited I am for this video first of all welcome to my fall series if you guys have not noticed in the title my fall series is going to be called fall so hard and it's going to basically be my series where every fall related video that I film is going to be added to this playlist. I thought what better way to start the fall series than with a fall unboxing slash taking inventory of my decor from last year. So not going to lie, I've already picked up a few new items this year and that is going to be saved for a separate video where I kind of do like a fall haul. But I thought it would be a really good idea to sit down and kind of look through all of my fall decor from last year to decide, do I still want to keep it? Is it something that I want to sell or possibly donate? Is it still my style? Just kind of stuff like that. Because um, I do feel like my style and aesthetic changes very often. I just thought this would be a really, really fun video. So I have my vanilla iced coffee and my little candle lit. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so yes, if you guys happen to catch a glimpse, I am wearing sweatpants along with this really pretty colored cozy fall sweater. So it's a whole vibe going on right now. But I basically have two containers of fall stuff. So I have this container right here and then I have another one next to me on the other side. So I think what I'm going to do is sift through this container first. I'm really scared that I'm going to have a hard time trying to decide if I want to keep things or not because I find that until I start actually decorating, I don't know what I will use and what I won't use. But I'm going to wait until my second Fall So Hard video, which is going to be a new fall haul of things I picked up this year to kind of explain to you like my aesthetic and ideas for how I want to decorate this fall. And I'll share with you guys my Pinterest board. I'm still kind of putting together last minute things. So that's why I'm not going to include it in this video. Yeah, let's go ahead and kind of sift through and see what I got. So first thing I have in here is this, I guess this can honestly be used all year long, but it's just kind of like this coppery wicker, really pretty basket and I'm definitely going to keep this because it is a great piece to kind of fill with like pumpkins and greenery and whatnot so I'm going to keep that. I don't know where to put all this stuff. Next thing I have in here is just a neutral white and beige beaded garlands and then this could be used honestly all year long. I think I just threw it in with my fall stuff so I'm also going to be keeping that. And then, okay, so I have this big pile of different placemats and I definitely don't need all of these. So let's kind of sift through. This one is like a copper leaf. I've had this for years and years and years. If I can remember where this stuff is from, I will mention it. Um, but some of this stuff is like five years or more old. So this one I'm actually probably going to donate. Um, it does have a little bit of like discoloration in a couple spots just from kind of wear and tear. So I'm gonna donate that. And then I actually have just a couple neutral placemats that you can kind of place wherever um, and then just kind of do whatever with. So I am going to keep these three and I think these were all from Hobby Lobby and I might incorporate them in fall, I might not. So I'm just gonna place them down there. These two placemats I have had for a very long time as well. They're kind of like a plaid fall theme. Really, really pretty colors. I don't remember where these are from. Um, I honestly don't know if I'm going to keep these or not. I don't want to get rid of them and then wish I had them to use as like a place setting or to put like pumpkins or something over. So um, this is like a... I guess this one is like a maybe, so. And then I have two more like leaf colored placemats. I have these two. I have had these for a really long time as well. Um, again, 
this one I can definitely see myself keeping because it's um, I love the color this one I'm not really sure about one idea that I do have this fall is to use this wall behind me on the couch to do like a fall kind of collage theme um, so I might actually incorporate some of the placemats as like wall decor. Then I have this small little container and this is where I put all of my like picks and just smaller decor that I used for like tear trays and um, random things like that. So the first thing I have in here is, oh, I have a few random like wood wick candles in here. So this is like a pumpkin butter one i'm gonna keep this and then um i have like these random picks so i think what i did is i used a couple of these to put in like vases and stuff so i have this like really pretty green one um so i'm definitely gonna keep that i love these sorts of things this i forgot i had this i think i got this from I don't know Kirkland's or something but I use it to put around my fall candles it's just like a fall candle wreath and it has like these really pretty neutral colors so I'm definitely keeping that um and then I have more of just like florals um to put in random vases and stuff so I have these really pretty brown ones I'm gonna keep those I have this set that's a mixture of like berries and white so I'm gonna keep that these I really really love um this one is just like a wood looking one. I think this was from Hobby Lobby last year. So keeping that. I also have another fall candle thrown in here. Um, it's called Fright Night. I'm pretty sure this was from TJ Maxx. Yeah, it just smells like fall. I'm going to keep that. And then this little wood wicker one actually lights up. I don't know if it'll still light. <gasps> yeah. So I'm definitely going to be keeping that. Okay, so now we're going to dip into my candle supply from last year. So I have leftover fall candles that I just never like completely burned through. So the first one is leaves. This is probably my all time favorite fall candle. So I'm definitely going to keep that and burn through the rest of it. The next one I have is called um, Harvest Gathering. This one just is another like good fall scented candle. It's apple, autumn berries, clove buds. I'll probably keep this one and just finish burning through it. Um, then I also have pumpkin clove. This one, in my opinion, is like a little too strong for me. And I think I burned it some last year and I think I ended up getting like a pretty bad headache. Um, and that's why like there's a good amount of it left. So I'm probably gonna donate that one actually. And then I also have um, Autumn. So I'm probably gonna donate that one as well. Then the rest of the stuff in here is like wall decor sort of stuff. So there is this welcome sign that has this like raffia. Um, this is still pretty in my opinion, but I don't really think it fits like the aesthetic of what I'm going for this year. So I actually think I'm going to try and see if somebody else would want this. Um, this one I, I am definitely obsessed with and definitely keeping. I purchased this last year from Joann's. Um, Joann's is probably my all time favorite place for fall decor. They just, they nail it every year with the themes that they have. And it's just always like unique and different stuff than like the typical stuff you find at Michael's and Hobby Lobby. So definitely keeping this. I love the little tassels and the wood beads. And yeah, this, not getting rid of that one and then this i think was an also another newer purchase last year that i picked up from kirkland's and it says autumn leaves pumpkins please um still really really like this i love the simpleness to it the wooden frame the black lettering i'm definitely going to keep this so i'm going to put all the things i'm keeping back in this box with my candles. 
And now we can move on to this box. We yet again have another um, little container of like little picks and stuff. So I have more of these wood pumpkins that I'm definitely keeping because I really, really love these. I have the same ones in there. I have this little like metal pumpkin thing. I'm pretty sure I had this hanging out in Zuri's room last year. I'm going to keep it. I don't really love the color, so I may spray paint it like a different color, um, but I'm probably just going to keep it. These little picks, I'm probably going to keep as well. I'm pretty sure I got these at Walmart actually, and I just think they're really pretty and I love the neutral colors and like the cream colored pumpkins. Then I have another random like small candles in here. So I have this one pumpkin honeycomb. Uh, I don't know where, oh, this is was from Target. Smells pretty good. I'm gonna keep it also just because it's really pretty. I'll still keep like the jar just to kind of decorate with. And then I have another random small candle from TJ Maxx called Spooky. I don't really like the way it smells, but I do like the way like it looks. So I'm gonna keep that. I have this random ghost that I'm gonna keep because it's super cute and you put like a tea light back there. And then I forgot I did these last year, but something else that I did last year is I printed off pictures of like images I liked and then framed them to kind of make like my own wall art. So the first one I did is this one that just says Hello Pumpkin. Um, I'm definitely gonna keep this. I might replace the picture itself with like a newer one this year, but I'm just gonna keep it for now and like keep the frame and everything. And then I also made, this last year, I found this picture on like the internet. It's just Hocus Pocus Company, which is wanted apply within. I think I have these in one of the bathrooms, but I'm definitely gonna keep this one. I love the way this looks. Um, so I'm gonna be keeping both of those. So I have this sign that says, meet me at the pumpkin patch. I'm gonna keep this. I still really like the way it looks. I'm pretty sure I found this at the Target dollar spot last year and it also came with another picture that said something else. Yes, this one. I'm so glad I live in a world where there are Octobers. I bought this set from the Target dollar spot mainly because I wanted this picture. So um, I think I still really like this one too and I'll keep it, but I may not keep it. Um, no, I'll probably keep it. So yeah, really, really love those. I can't wait for the Target dollar spot to come out with things this year because I feel like once they do, um, I'm gonna complete like my fall haul and collection from there. Okay, this I picked up from Kirkland's last year, I think, or the year before. Just says pumpkin spice season and it just has this little like plaid thing. I really like the neutral colors. I like how pumpkin is an orange, but the rest is like a cream and black. I think I might have had this on my coffee bar last year. But I'm gonna keep this because I still really like it. Then what else do I have in here? I have this um, glittery like burlapy pumpkin. I'm not obsessed with like the little glitters that are all over it. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know, I'm on the fence about this one. So I'm just gonna put that in the I can't decide pile. Then I do have a couple more like Halloween-y themed things. This sign I have had for years and years and years now. It just says autumn blessings to crow about. This one I'm definitely gonna either sell or donate. It says if the shoe fits and it's just a cute little witch's feet. I, um, I've had this for like five plus years. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. Just not really into it anymore. Then I also have this sign that I've had for a really long time as well. This is from Hobby Lobby. It says pumpkin patch and it has like an arrow pointing. I will probably keep this. I think I usually put it like somewhere near the front door. This is another one of those like picture frame things I kind of made myself last year. And it's just a bunch of like fall themed words. I typed this out myself in like fonts that I really liked and then framed it. So I will definitely keep this. I might repurpose it or put it in like a wooden frame instead of black. 
Oh my gosh, I forgot about this, but this is another piece I picked up last year that I was obsessed with. This also came from Kirkland's. I am not getting rid of this. I stinking love it. It is um, just like this wooden beads and it has like these little accents to it and it has this like dowel and it's just, just everything and more. I love, love, love this. I'm so glad I picked it up last year. And the next thing I have is this little like copper tin jack-o'-lantern thing. I am definitely keeping this. I have had this in my collection for a very, very long time. And looking at the sticker, it looks like it's from probably TJ Maxx or like a Marshalls. Um, you can take the lid off and put like a candle in there. So I usually have like a tea light or like a LED flameless candle in here every year, but I love this piece. I'm definitely going to keep this. Then I have some wax cubes left over from last year. This is in the scent of farm apple pumpkin from Walmart just to burn in my tart burner. So I'm going to keep those and stick those in with my candles. So this is actually a dual side tart burner with little like pumpkin heads. And then what you do is the tea lights go here and then you would hang these two pieces here and put your tarts in it and burn it. I have had this as well for years and years and years. I'm pretty sure I bought it from Yankee Candle. This is one of those pieces again that like, I don't necessarily feel like fit my aesthetic anymore, but I feel really bad getting rid of it just because it's such a pretty piece and I've just had it a really long time, so I feel like it has sentimental value. Then another thing that I have thrown in here is this other um, metal like jack-o'-lantern thing that I think I just put candy in. I don't know, this is another one I'm not sure about. Um, we don't really get, I live in an apartment, so we don't really get trick-or-treaters, and I find that when I put this out every year and put candy in it, then I just end up eating the candy, so. And then I have bagged up just like my salt and pepper shakers and spoon rest. First one in here is this owl like spoon rest. I don't really like this anymore, so I'm probably going to give that away. I'm really sad because it looks like one of these broke. These are my pumpkin salt and pepper shakers. And here's the little piece for it. I could probably just crazy glue that back on, but um, these I'm going to keep. I just put them on the oven and they're just like pumpkin salt and pepper shakers. I'm going to keep these. I think this was another Target dollar spot find and it's just this white and black speckled pumpkin dish and it's really pretty to put like a little faux pumpkin on or to put like a candle on or something. So I'm definitely going to keep these. So I have two from last year that I wrapped up. Um, I have this one that says, meet me at, oh, never met a pumpkin I didn't like. I'm pretty sure this is from Target. I really like this one, so I'm going to keep that one. Oh, it just says, hello, pumpkin. Probably going to keep this one, too, because it's super cute. Um, this is also from Target, Opal House. I think... I think that is officially everything, guys. Um, this was a really, really exciting video to film. I kind of forgot about some of the pieces that I have in here, and I'm really excited. I kind of went through to kind of take inventory of what I want and what no longer fits my aesthetic. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, my next video is going to be a haul of all the new things I've picked up this year. And it's also going to include like some of my ideas for the aesthetic that I'm shooting for when it comes to decor for this year as well. So if you guys are going to be interested in seeing that one, keep an eye out. Um, but other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.